What are the three simple steps you can take to help you select the 2008 Medicare plan that's right for you? Find out after this brief report. Well, back at the house, but uh, I've been on this, around this pond right here all my life. As John Wilkerson walks across this land he knows so well, he still marvels at its beauty. Oh, it is beautiful. Look around. On this hike, Wilkerson hunts for a resting place. Not just any spot, mind you, but his final resting place. Eventually, somebody will dig a hole and put me in it. You see, in an effort to carry out a promise to his parents. So boys, don't let this property become developed. Wilkerson turned over the land to a not-for-profit group, and he's now transforming the family farm into what's called a green cemetery. Try to become one with nature again without in involving a lot of concrete and steel and chemicals that will eventually end up in your drinking water. The Glendale Memorial Nature Preserve is about 350 acres of panhandle, pine, and pond. And about 70 acres has been set aside for the Green Cemetery. Among those already interred here, Henry Dell, a sturdy bricklayer who wanted a back-to-basics burial. He didn't want to be embalmed or anything or be cut on. He wanted an old-fashioned burial. So that was a perfect place to get buried. Pensacola artist Diana Barnes is often inspired by nature. My very favorite thing is bunches and bunches of trees. She even sleeps in a bower. There's an owl that lives up there. Do you see the owl? So this artist who in life so often paints greenery, in death, wants to be kind to the earth. And she's already picked out a spot at Glendale. Well, I think it's the most natural way to be buried. Why would you want to be embalmed? And so her kids don't have to worry about a thing. This bookcase in Barnes home, well, it'll serve a dual purpose. And I fit right in there if I don't get any fatter. <laughs> Coffins aren't required at Glendale. But if you want one, it must be biodegradable. And you can buy a plain pine box for 400 bucks, made from Glendale trees. Now you can eventually come back in the box and be planted right near where the tree grew. What an ecological coup. When the time comes, it'll cost Barnes family only $1,000 to bury her at Glendale. Of course money is a factor. Well, common in England, Glendale is one of only a handful of green cemeteries in the United States, and so far only 13 bodies are buried there. But Wilkerson is confident green burial will catch on. And long after Wilkerson has seen his last sunset, he expects Glendale Memorial Nature Preserve to live on. But hopefully it, it should look just like it did before white man got here. In Glendale, Catherine Birch, Tampa Bay's 10 News. To help ensure you select a 2008 Medicare plan that meets both your medical needs and your budget, take these three steps. First, review your medical spending for 2006 and 2007. Take a look at what you spend on doctors, hospitals, tests, and prescriptions. Second, try to project your health care needs for the coming year. Although none of us has a crystal ball that can predict what 2008 will look like, you can make an estimate on health care services by looking at your prescriptions, considering annual screenings and exams, and talking to your doctors. Third, explore your options. There are a number of online resources to help you better understand your 2008 Medicare plan choices. Go to Medicare.gov and Humana-Medicare.com for more information.